can promise you now This love that I feel for you always will be Alrighty, it's Saturday and we're on our way to a wedding today. We're doing a ceremony and reception at a familiar location. We're going to Holland Farms and I know that name's going to sound familiar to you because I've got a few gig logs uh, right here on my YouTube channel from there. It's been a few years since we've been there. I think the last time that we did a wedding there was back in September 2020, I believe. As a matter of fact, it was just a few days after Hurricane Sally hit. So uh, you might want to go back on my YouTube channel and look back at that particular gig log. But anyway, that's where we're headed today and uh, we're supposed to be doing the ceremony outside but as you can see it's kind of drizzly and rainy today so not sure what's going to happen with that I'll find out more about that when I get there but it's uh, actually almost one o'clock now the ceremony doesn't begin till four so you know who knows what's going to happen in three hours we'll have to wait and see the weather can always change so we'll just have to wait and see once we get there but uh, anyway we're just doing the ceremony and the reception this evening and uh, I'll be talking to you soon I'll talk to you once we get there once we get set up okay so we're back here at Holland Farms and I've already got my reception set up uh, already ready to go. We have, I haven't set up the ceremony yet, but I'll be looking closer to the ceremony to do that. We've still got about an hour and a half or so before the ceremony is supposed to begin. But anyway, here's my setup this evening. We're set up in a normal spot that we normally set up in, right over here. There's your steps to go up to the loft. And Olivia said she didn't want anybody going up to the loft, so she kind of wanted me to block, have my uh, uh, equipment blocking the uh, stairs there, so there's no way anybody can get around the speakers there. But uh, yeah, anyway, here's my, my setup. And like I said, we've been here before. Yeah, it looks familiar to you, I know. You ever watch my S and DJ Top 10 countdown shows too? You might notice people dancing from here too. I include some footage from here um, and that as well. So anyway, I'll uh, walk outside and I'll show you where the ceremony is going to be held. Okay, it's raining right now, so I'm only going to be out here for a second, but the ceremony is supposed to be held right there. And right here is where the DJ table's uh, going to be set up. Normally when I do ceremonies here, though, I've always set up over here. You know, we've had the ceremony right here, but yeah, she wanted to have it back down there, so. We'll see what's going on. Okay, it's about 3.48 now. Ceremony's supposed to start in about 12 minutes. I don't think we're going to make that. But uh, anyway, uh, right now it's still raining outside. You can see out there where the uh, ceremony's supposed to take place. And, uh, you know, the thing is, if the uh, bride still wants to have the ceremony outside, I thought, well, I could just crank this wind up and we could just use the sound system and I, I could just uh, crank the music up from here. So I don't know what we're going to do yet. We're still kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. So, uh, but that is not an, an idea. I mean, you know, the DJ table is just right there. So it wouldn't be much just to turn, just to open up the window, just crank it from here. You know, if, 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 if they really want to have it outside and that way my equipment doesn't get wet. So it's now about 425 and ceremony's over with and everybody's just enjoying the cocktail hour right now. We'll be uh, getting things started here in just a little bit, but uh, everything worked out great with the ceremony. I cranked this window up and uh, you know pointed the speaker that way and hey, it worked out good. You can hear the music fine out there and I didn't even have the speaker cranked up to a quarter of what it could do, so that worked out really well. So anyway, you know, these things always work out. We'll make it work one way or the other. That's what I always tell my brides. Okay, and here's my view for the evening.
Now, I'd also like to take a moment to honor the most important person here tonight, the bartender. <laughs> I will spare you the dramatic details, but <laughs> there were many target runs, tears, and overall just figuring out who we were at that time in our lives. She's my favorite human being, and uh, my life significantly changed for the better when I met her. I could stay here for hours talking about how incredible, wonderful, amazing, beautiful she is, but I will say that for today. You're welcome. Cole really is one of the best of friends I've ever had. He's tall and handsome and funny. And Cole, I really can't read what you read with me. Does it say best hunter or something like that? But I want to tell all of you on behalf of the my Christmas.
it's now Monday evening, and I'm just here in the Oval Office. Uh, decided to do this final wrap for the uh, wedding gig log you just saw, which took place two days ago on Saturday. So overall, it went great. We had a wonderful bride and groom, a wonderful group of friends and family. As a matter of fact, I had a lot of them coming up making requests. That was a lot of fun. I even had one guy come up to me and tell me that uh, he'd grown up listening to me on the radio and he was honored to meet me. So I felt good about that. I get that a lot. So that's always nice. Anyway, we had a wonderful uh, wedding coordinator as well. She was really nice. I had worked with her before. Her assistant was nice as well. And the catering staff and the photographer. I had worked with them before as well. So it's always nice when you have vendors that you've worked with before. That makes things a lot easier because you kind of get to know how each other work, you know what I'm saying, and uh, you know how things uh, go, so that, uh, that makes it a lot easier for sure. Now, I did want to mention that we did have to change plans just a little bit as far as my sound system was concerned. Originally, I was going to put my Fender Passport outside, but it started sprinkling, so we just decided just to prop the window open and uh, just swivel one of my speakers around for my main sound system inside the barn, and it projected well outside. They were able to hear the music great. I mean, it was it worked out really well. And, uh, you know, uh, Olivia, the bride, she was, you know, a little bit concerned about, you know, how things were going to go and all that, and I kept telling her, look, it's going to work out, and it always does. I mean, 20 years of being a mobile DJ, every wedding I've ever done always works out one way or the other. So yeah, I would have to say I'm batting a perfect score when it comes to making wedding receptions work out. So anyway, so it, all, it did work out. But uh, like I said, you know, she still wanted to have her ceremony outside and I was real glad that she was able to do it and we were able to make it work. You know, maybe not quite as, as we'd had it uh, planned out, but uh, you know, hey, it still worked out good and everybody was able to hear the music and you know, everything worked out really well. And like I said, overall, just a great uh, bride and groom, a great group of friends and family. And uh, I really enjoyed having the chance to work with them. So anyway, that's where we're going to leave this, and we got more gig logs to come, so until next time, practice and enjoy. You may think that I'm talking foolish You've heard that I'm wild and I'm free You may wonder how I can promise you now This love that I feel for you always will be well, You're not just time that I'm killing I'm no longer one of those guys As sure as I live This love that I give Is gonna be yours